Hey guys, Tech Made Easy. Listen, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and change the blade to the high lift blade. We're going to put that on today. Um, and then I'm going to mow with the high lift blade. I'm going to mulch. I'm not going to bag. Um, and then afterwards, with mulch on the lawn, I'm then going to bag with the high lift blade. All right. Now we're doing this with the new model, the LM. 2156 SP. If you have an LM 2150 SP, that's fine. They're the same machine, okay? But this thing's got 8.3 foot pounds of torque and it's got a 1200 watt motor. That is supposed to make a difference um, in, in obviously plowing through some heavy grass, but with the high lift blade, that's supposed to create a real nice vacuum to suck up grass, um, hopefully, leaves in the fall. All right, I am using a 9-16 and an 11-16 um, uh, socket set, all right, in order to take this off, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, and initially, I am just going to loosen um, the double blade system initially, all right? So hopefully, I'll zoom out, and uh, oh, by the way, to do that, you do just need a screwdriver or something thin, um, because as I go backwards... And I've shown this a couple of times, but if you're watching this video for the first time, in order to loosen, you need to put something in this hole over here, okay? And as I try loosening, the blade's going to obviously want to move back. Now, when you're tightening, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to put it in here, and obviously, the, you know, as you're tightening your bolt, you know? So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to loosen these two side screws for the blade first. Okay, it's real simple. I used to overly complicate it, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, let me uh, let me start the loosening process. Now I am using a uh, Cobalt XTR. Um, my God, it's not a drill; it's an impact drill. Um, one of my subscribers, AJ, recommended that I get this because I was using a regular drill, which is really silly. So an impact drill is phenomenal for stuff like this. All right, and I'm already, you know, it's amazing how fast it loosens and tightens, so. All right, so those are pretty loose. Um, I, can, I can now pretty much just kind of make it where I can take these guys off by hand. I'm gonna swap out my bit. All right. All right, I've got the 9 16th, which is really going to loosen the center bolt. The 11 16th will, will actually loosen and tighten the side bolts here for the blades. So let me just go ahead and... Uh, very nice. This impact drill is phenomenal. Um, the XTR series is really powerful in comparison to the normal 24 volt. Um, but yeah, let's uh, make sure I'm zoomed out as much as I can. And all I want to do now is just kind of do a swap. So I'm just going to take these off. I don't need to take everything off, to be honest with you. Um, this uh, bolt just comes off the center. I'm going to let the uh, blade balance and stay in place. All right. Um, do not lose this, by the way. Okay. And again, it does go in on the outside. We'll do that in a second. Uh, now a simple swap and you want to make sure you're putting your blade on correctly. So the blade says uh, this side facing grass. All right, so just make sure you do that. So all I'm doing here is taking off the mulching blade. Some people know it as the gator blade. And I am taking and again making sure I don't want to put it this way because you need this to be facing, um, it creates that vacuum. You see that little angle there and how big this is? So we're going to go ahead and put this on. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten up the center bolt. So again, I'm going to just put this on uh, here and then put on the screw. Let me put my fancy screwdriver back in the hole where it goes. All right. Again, let me put on the other two nuts that are holding the blades together. Everything's a little loose still. 
One thing you want to check every so often is that your blades are actually straight. Um, because if they are bent or they have issues, they can actually make your motor strain. Uh, it also can affect your mulching. Um, so as your blades get older, I mean sharpen them and just make sure that they are straight and uh, you'll be in, in good hands there. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and tighten it, um, but I'm going to tighten the uh, 11 sixteenths first because if I don't do that, I'll have to do double the work. So um, the trick here is you just want to make sure that Actually, to tell you the truth, uh, I'm making a mistake here. I'm going to go ahead and show you it. So I'm going to pull this out because I think it is beneficial to tighten the two nuts first, making sure that the back of the two nuts is actually on correctly. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I was to tighten this, okay, these nuts here grab a certain way, and, and it's hard for you to see that. But if they're not grabbing properly... Um, I could, I could really make this uneven. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and just tighten this while it's here and it's in my hands. And you see that spinning? That just means that it, it didn't grab in the back. Okay, so we just want to make sure that that is laying flat and grabbing in the back. All right, I'm just going to tighten that up. Good, good, very good. I'm glad I made the mistake with you guys because you know at the end of the day it's about being real. Um, so now let's put the nut back on and we can tighten the center one. And let me get my dog back up here. Brooklyn, come on now. You know what happens is she walks the yard and starts eating everything and then at 3 in the morning she starts throwing up. I got a mess to clean up while I'm halfway asleep. So, all right, let's put the 9 16ths back on. Oh. All right, we're going to tighten the center and a double check, and that's nice and tight. All right, now what I want to do since it's on, I want to go ahead and put the 11 sixteenths back on and just make sure I'm tightened. I don't want to overdo it, I don't want to strip the bolts. I mean, you'll have to replace them sooner or later, but there you go. We're going to go out now and uh, we are going to start with a mulch cut, no bag, with the high lift blade. It'll make a little mess. We'll see how it goes. Then we're going to vacuum it up with the bag and the, and the high lift blade and see, you know, check out the vacuum power a little bit and see how well it cleans the lawn. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm still doing some lawn repair in the spring here. Uh, that was a bunny hole. Um, that I had to cover up and uh, I'm going to show you a video. I'll put up a image and I'll try to add the link to the end of this video. It's not available yet. I'm still working on it, but um, I have uh, squirrels. I have uh, bunnies and uh, and everybody does. Um, but anyway, I was able to create some type of a system, um, you know, better than burlap, right? Burlap is Okay, it's not bad, but it gets messy as the grass grow grows through. So I will put the image up in a moment so you can see what video that is. And then I'll put a, uh, I'll put a link in the description and I'll also put, um, I'll try to put it at the end of this video too, okay, so you can see what that is. All right, here is the section for the test today. Okay, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is just kind of show you where I'm starting with. All right, so we'll just take a walk. So you can kind of see what the grass looks like. Okay, now the goal is today, well not really the goal, what I'm going to be doing, just so you'll know, is I am going to start off with the high lift blade and the mulch plug in, and I am going to mulch at a four, because if I mulch at a three, it is going to be extremely messy. And I think for some people they want to see with the uh, mulch plug-in and the high lift blade if they can actually you know cut their grass and mulch um, you know because they want to lift up that grass that lazy grass and get a good cut all right so that's what I'm gonna do and then after that I'm gonna cut it again to a three it's gonna be real messy and then my goal is to show you 
um, with the bag on and the mulch plug out, um, you know, how well the high lift blade creates a vacuum to clean up your lawn. All right, I use uh, my lawn mower to clean up, especially after the fall with the leaves and stuff. But you know, stuff gets stuck inside the lawn and you know, you, you need that real good suction. So we'll see. All right, we got the four selected. All right, um, we have the mulch plug in. All right, and we also have the high lift blade on. All right, let me just take the battery out to show you. All right, turn this around real quick. And there's your high lift blade we installed. Okay, guys. I'm going to speed up the video while I'm cutting because it'll bore you. I'll put some music on. You can dance too. We are on a four. I want you to notice something too. Just notice that when I mow, I always overlap. That's just what I do. Um, so as you can see, the blade is cut, the, you know, the grass is cut up to here. Normally someone would put their, their wheel right here, but I actually put my wheel a little outside that. And that's how I mow. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna show you, you know, half the lawn, more than half the lawn, but, you know, you could actually see, you know, it looks like a nice cut. There's definitely mulch on the lawn for sure, especially towards the ends, you know, when you stop here, you know, and you uh, turn your mower around, right? You get this uh, mulch, which again, nice size mulch. Okay, um, but good to see, right? I'll keep on. All right, guys, well, let's take a good look at the uh, cut itself. Again, we're on a number four. And, uh, you know, do we, obviously we've got, you know, clumps a little bit, but, you know, this is healthy mulch, right? So we cut, you know, the last time I cut this lawn, I cut it at a four. So it grew a little bit. So obviously um, I cut it at a four again. What we're looking for here is any stragglers, which my eye is not seeing, which is a good news story. Sorry about the shade, but I gotta look, you know, take a good look here. You know, the lines they create are pretty nice. I mean, it's, you know, some people like better lines than that. Um, all right, do I have a straggler? I guess I got one straggler, okay? That's no big deal, but I got one straggler. All right, yeah, guys, I don't see any more stragglers, which is good. All right, next up, I'm gonna cut this down to a three, which is the shortest I go, 
Okay, and uh, then we'll look at what we have on the lawn and then how well this thing cleans it up. All right, cut number two with the mulch plug in and the high lift blade. We are now taking it from a four. We're going to drop it to a three, which is the lowest I ever do. And it is spring. It isn't too hot, but it's funny because it's going to be 80 degrees in a couple of days. So the weather is weird. Let's go. All right, let's take a look at the three on the right and the four on the left. Okay, just a, you know, definitely a little lower cut. Hopefully you can see that, I can. But uh, yeah. All right, guys, well, we definitely have a whole lot more mulch on our lawn, you know, but we're talking two cuts, right? And you can definitely see the pileup on the ends here when you go to make your turns, right? When you stop your, your mower. Um, so, you know, good amount, not only on the ends, but, you know, as we walk through the lawn, we'll see nice small i mean this is healthy though you can leave this you know what i mean but we're going to vacuum we're going to go ahead and use the high lift blade to uh you know really get this stuff up that's you know pretty much in a lot of places all right i did notice though that the straggler's gone um i think there's a piece here that's like a longer piece that lays down it'd be interesting to see this you know if, if it actually sucks up with the high lift blade um, all right so the rabbit holes here covered by grass right now and that's there let's try to remember that for later I'm gonna put the bag on and uh, take out the mulch plug all right we're gonna leave it on three because that's where we cut you don't want to raise it you, you won't have a good vacuum so you want to leave it on the last cut you did and take out the mulch plug all right, there you go. Put on the bagger. Okay, that's on. Machine is on the three. And uh, I'll just get rid of this guy. All right, let's start up. Let's see how clean this makes it. And again, just notice that if you haven't, right, if you're new, but when you turn on the mower and you see this bag expand, it's because it's creating that vacuum, watch.
All right, guys, I want to go ahead and check this straggler we had here. So the bunny hole's here, and that straggler was somewhere around here, but guess what? It looks like it's gone. I mean, you know, again, it, it took the first straggler and cut it, but with the bag, it definitely cleaned up, you know, to make it. It'll take a good look in a little while. Let me finish. All right, guys, let's take the grass out of the bag that it picked up off the lawn, first of all. All right. Um, you know, just to show you, I'm going to be making a mess here, but. All right. So this is what it picked up. Now, again, cut really small. You know, I mean, look, I mean, for the most part, it really does a, a good job with the mulching. I mean, look at some of these blade sizes, right? So that's number one, okay? Let's go ahead and take a walk now. And I'll do it from the corner like I did earlier. Now, I will tell you, this corner here, I don't cut down so you'll see it sticking up. Don't worry about that. The reason for that is if I lower my lawn, the lawnmower, it'll actually cut this down too low. Some of the lawn isn't e even, so I don't go down to the asphalt when I'm cutting on this side. I use the weed whacker. You know how some of your lawns are higher than others. All right, so let's take a look. All right, and uh, just see. Let's take a look. We'll start here. All right, didn't get that. All right, look, honestly, looks pretty darn good. I mean, there are de definitely some areas where I guess the mulch falls deep into the lawn and it can't get it all. So that's not a big deal because, you know, I've got holes in my lawn and then the, the mulch falls in. But again, let's just take a look. I'll tell you honestly if I'm happy and look, it's good for you to know. It's a nice cut. Again, an indent in the lawn, and there's a straggler here that I guess just lays down and it didn't get it. Um, so, all right. But realistically, look at the lawn. I mean, it really looks nice. You know, it's a definite clean, nice lawn. So I'm happy with it. It definitely does better than not having it from my experience. Tell me what you think in the comments, okay? Let's talk about it. One other tip I want to give you, right, is if you don't want to bag your grass, right, um, depending on the size of your mulch, you can just go over it twice. So I want you to see the, the left side here, and, and it's got a lot of mulch, right? You see that mulch? But look at the right side. All I did was go over it twice, and it cuts the mulch up even smaller because I went on this side straight to a three. All right, so just wanted to share that with you. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.